gentlemen, and welcome to Gettysburg College for another edition of Facebook Live, and we're glad you can join us this afternoon. My name is Braden Snyder, and today we're joined by two members of the Gettysburg College men's golf team. Uh, the Bullets just uh, are finished as the conference runner-up last season, finishing just four strokes behind the conference champion. Uh, the team has competed in five rounds of this fall, uh, and they kicked off the spring portion of their schedule last week with a match in Myrtle Beach. Uh, seated to my left is Jake Ecke, a uh, junior and team captain from Prospect, Connecticut. Uh, he's coming off a strong sophomore campaign when he averaged a 78 and just missed uh, all Centennial Conference honors when he placed sixth at the conference championship. Uh, away from the course, he is a political science major. And seated to my right is Danny Harcourt, a uh, sophomore from Fanwood, New Jersey. Uh, Danny registered a Tremendous sophomore season last year. He uh, tied for first place at the Centennial Conference Championship, earned all-conference honors, co-rookie of the year honors. Uh, he averaged a 76 last year uh, and has performed just as well this year, averaging a 74.6. Uh, and in the classroom, he is a computer science major. So welcome, Jake. Welcome, Danny. Thank you so much for taking some time out here on a busy Friday. Uh, Excited to be here. I uh, understand you're uh, heading out for a practice round here. Uh, later today, so thanks for making your time, making some time. Uh, uh, Danny, I mentioned you competed in the fall, um, but jumped back into action um, over your spring break trip last week in Myrtle Beach. Um, can you just talk about how that trip went? I know you competed in a match there, but how, how was the trip? A little, little chilly, I think, is what I heard. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a little fun. Uh, we, uh, I mean, we were heading inside all winter, so it was nice to get back out on a course where it's or the grass is actually growing. And uh, we just, I mean, we had five days, five rounds, I think. <clears throat> and uh, we, everyone played pretty well. And then, I mean, it was definitely a little chillier than we expected, but we had fun on and off the course, so it was a lot of fun. Um, and then the, the uh, tournament round went okay. Some of the guys did well, and then others struggled a little bit, but that's, part of, that's why it's the uh, warm-up for the season. So it was nice to have that trip down there and get everything ready for the season. Now you talked about hitting inside, which some places that might mean something different for some schools than others. Now we have a system here that allows you to do that uh, track man system we have here. Can you just talk briefly on that and how that um, is an advantage for the team? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's such an advantage. I don't think any other team in the conference has it right now. So having that, being able to not only just hit balls, but analyze your swing and make sure everything's right for when the season starts is a huge advantage. Um, I think I hit like over 11,000 balls this winter. So um, I just, when I got out to Myrtle, I felt like I was right in prime, prime form almost. So it's like you never have an off season. So it's definitely a big plus to have that. Wow. Yeah, and it looked like you stepped right into it. Uh, shot, I think, what, 77 there? Had a nice, nice opening round for the spring. Uh, now, Jake, now you were studying abroad last fall. Um, so this was your first round since last spring at the yeah. conference championship. Um, but you didn't seem too rusty either. I uh, came out and shot a 78. Um, so how did it feel getting back into the swing of things after kind of being away for a semester? It was good. I really missed the guys on the team and just hanging out in the team environment. So it was great to get back with everyone. And I don't know, the way I rationalized it to myself when I went abroad is – I usually take about three months off to begin with. So if I take five or six, there's going to be a huge difference. And I guess, lucky for me, it wasn't so bad. And I was able to get my swing back relatively quickly. Um, I think there's still a lot of work to do, but I was pretty satisfied with coming back and taking such a long time off with the way I was able to play. Now, uh, can you talk about your study abroad experience? Um, what were some of the highlights of your trip? You talked just before the interview about some of the travel you are able to do, but... Um, can you just shed some light on your trip to Denmark this fall? Sure. School does a great job, and I recommend everybody goes abroad because it was an incredible experience, and I'll never forget the friends I made and the times I had. But just being abroad and being able to travel and see different parts of the world, seeing things I never thought I'd get to see, was such a cool experience, and it was so easy to do. Like, I didn't really consider going abroad until a lot of my friends talked about it, and then obviously I'm so happy I did. But... Yeah, the experience was unbelievable. I could sit here and talk for an hour about the times I had abroad. But um, it's good to be back, and mm -hmm. glad I went. 
<clears throat> and also, and as we're looking back, uh, Danny, you had uh, a very unique experience this past summer, and uh, some of the the more uh, hardcore men's golf fans probably read about it this year. We put had a story up on our website, but you competed in the U.S. Amateur Championship in Michigan uh, after winning your qualifier in New Jersey. Um, so you're competing against some of the best amateur golfers in in the country or maybe the world. Uh, can you talk briefly about that experience and what that was like for you this, this summer? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> it was uh, it was honestly probably the coolest thing I've ever done. Uh, just winning the qualifier was a, a big step, and then being able to compete th- at least through the first round. The second day was a little tough, but uh, I was still in it through the first day. And I mean, just playing with all those guys, even in the practice rounds, I was playing with some guys from Texas and uh, Stanford. So. Um, just seeing all that and playing with them was just an awesome experience. You feel like a professional out there, honestly, with the amount of spectators and stuff like that. Um, and the course alone was just fantastic. It's probably one of the nicest courses I've ever played. So, I mean, playing the best amateur event in the world was like was very unique, obviously, but it's, it's something I'll cherish forever. It was an awesome experience. Absolutely. Uh, we all enjoyed um, following your progress there. and. It- just was uh, something unique. We don't uh, obviously see much, really, at any, uh, probably at any level of college golf. But uh, uh, but now turning to the team here, uh, really, uh, it was a young team last year, and again, a young team this year. Uh, the team only lost two seniors from last year, uh, just one of your, your top five um, from a, a team that finished, as we said, at the conference, uh, finished, uh, as the conference runner-up last season. Uh, now, the Centennial Conference preseason poll uh, came out uh, a week or two ago, and, and the team was picked to finish first. Uh, uh, so how does it feel to, uh, would you say, to get that kind of recognition uh, at this point? Uh, I mean, I think it's a good choice. I think our team is pretty solid. So uh, even our first year was having three freshmen play last year. We only finished four behind, and that's, like, all the tournaments are very important to us, obviously, but... The conference championship just has a little bit more pressure, and uh, if we just didn't have that first day last year, I think we would have won it easily. So um, having that, I mean, it, it's it's good recognition, obviously, um, but it just it'll it's just, it'll be a target on our back, definitely. But I think we can handle it pretty easily, mm-hmm. just because we just have a solid team and basically the same team coming back this year. So mm-hmm. if anything, we just, we're a little bit better than we were last year. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, last year really was an exciting year for the men's golf team here at Gettysburg. Um, uh, as you mentioned, Danny, it was really just an outstanding freshman class that came in, led by Danny and Dane Sether Hofstad, um, who really helped lead the team to a tremendous season, which included six invitational victories. Uh, as you said, nearly culminated in a conference title with that tremendous 293 uh, on the final round. It was really unbelievable. Almost, uh, you're almost able to run down Franklin and Marshall in the end. Um, but Jake, I guess the question I would have for you is you, you're ahead here of Danny. So you kind of were able to see this group come in. Uh, can you talk about the impact this class has really had, um, on the team, which includes, uh, Alec Dempsey, Jeremy Haas, Christian Haldeman, um, and this year the lone freshman, Ethan Murphy. But what, what is the, what, what did that, that, that class come in and what was the impact like? I think if you're trying to understand the impact, all you need to do is look at the scores that the team has been shooting. Um, it was a complete 180 turnaround from the previous season, and this I couldn't believe some of the scores these kids were shooting when they first came in in the fall. I think Dane shot a 67 in a tournament, and Danny shot 69 on the last day of conferences last year. So the scores that we've been able to put up have just improved so much, and it's just I think the team is a lot more serious now. We're a lot more competitive, and I think the biggest difference is we go into every tournament feeling like we can win, feeling like we're the best team there, and we have the ability to put up a score to take home the trophy. And I think the previous season, that attitude wasn't really there. So that attitude has been a big shift, and I think it's just made all of us really optimistic about what we can accomplish this year. Yeah, it certainly has been a change, and um been several years since we've had this sort of depth. I'm not sure if we've ever had quite this much depth uh, in, in program history, but you mentioned the numbers, certainly. You look at the... The scoring averages last year, um, Dane Sether Hofstad, 75.3, Danny, 76, uh, Jake, 78.2, Jeremy Haas, 78.7, Will Young, one of the seniors who graduated, 79.1. But, uh, you know, top five players all averaged under an 80, which uh, is just tremendous. And 
Uh, now, Danny, you and Dane, uh, we, we've touched on Dane, but the two of you have, have really just, um, and as Jake touched on it, just enjoy a tremendous start here at Gettysburg, um, both averaging right around a 75 uh, for your career at this point. Uh, Dane tied the conference record, as you mentioned, with a 67 on one of his first rounds uh, of, of his career here at uh, Gettysburg. And then uh, Jake also mentioned your 69 that you shot on the final round of conferences. Uh, both of you were named All-Region last year, so awards were coming in, and, and rightly so. But can you talk about what it's been like uh, competing with Dane, the two of you, um, and also, if you can touch on him, what, what makes him such a strong golfer? You see him every day and compete with him. So what has that been like competing with Dean? It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we just know that every tournament we go in, like either one of us could play as the one or two. It just depends on the week. And uh, knowing that both of us are going to come in with a solid number every round is just very comforting to know that you can just go out and play your, play your game. Um, and you don't have to do anything to carry the team or anything like that. So... Uh, and every, everyone else is solid throughout the throughout the roster, so it's you're always just comfortable where you're at. Um, and yeah, Dane is just a natural. I, I I love the kid. He's just like, I, like he pra he'll practice a lot, but on days where he can't, he still will come in with great numbers. So it's pretty amazing to watch. I don't think I could do the same. So I give a lot of credit to him. I don't know what what his deal is, but it's it's pretty amazing to watch. And uh, it's nice to have him as a teammate, obviously. And the, uh, we saw early on with the 67 what he's capable of. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you know, Dane was one I think that we heard about early. Uh, Coach Petrie, I believe, had, had um, read where he, had, I believe, had won his state title in Minnesota, maybe a 64 or some kind of an incredible score. And uh, we, we, knew, we knew we had a good one coming in right from the start, even before he stepped foot on campus. So uh, it's certainly been an exciting a couple of years here with everything that you and the, uh, the rest of the team has been doing. Uh, Jake, the team had a strong fall. You were out, but uh, they finished as the as the runner-up at two different events. Um, so you had your spring break match in Myrtle Beach, and there's, I guess, five matches coming up here before the conference meet. Um, kind of what are – are you looking forward to any of those – uh, future invitationals, maybe more than others, or what kind of what kind of things do you think you want to accomplish uh, leading up to the conference meet? I'd say I'm I'm pretty excited for our home tournament, which is at Hanover Country Club, just because when it's a home event, you're playing on your course, the place that you know best, and you want to show the conference that you can perform. But I think in all of these tournaments, there's going to be some of our main rivals playing, and they're all important, and they're all important to build momentum to the conference tournament. Um, I was really pleased to see the guys have such a strong fall while I was gone. And that's great because we can use that to build going forward because I think everything kind of builds up to the conference tournament for us. That's the, the biggest date on our schedule. So if we can just use all of the events to build momentum for that, I, I think that would be really good. Uh, speaking of the, the conference tournament, uh, being hosted again at the, the Bridges Golf Club in um, Abbottstown, just down Route 30, it was, uh, but you'll be competing there uh, this weekend, correct, at McDaniel Invitational. Uh, you looking forward to that uh, for that reason that you kind of get a, a preview of the conference championship course again is that um, helpful to you in, in that regard yeah definitely I mean we've played it a bunch uh, we've played it probably close to 10 times the last two years or year and a half for me and uh, I think we're playing with McDaniel and Franklin and Marshall which is probably going to be the uh, the first day matchups <clears throat> once the uh, conference comes around but, yeah, being able to see the course beforehand is definitely an advantage, just getting comfortable with it and knowing where you can score and where you can't. Um, and then p just playing with the guys that you're going to be playing against is pretty key, too, because you need to be comfortable with them and know that you can beat them. So mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be nice. Uh, what, what can you say about this course in particular at the Bridges? Is there any kind of distinct, um, I don't know, Anything that makes it unique or something that um, sets it apart from other courses? Um, I think everyone on the team kind of has a love-hate relationship with the Bridges. Um, there's a few interesting holes out there, but I think what separates it is we play it so much. Uh, McDaniel has their tournament there every year, which is two rounds. We played conferences last year, which was three rounds. We played practice rounds for conferences there. So we've just played it a lot, so we know the course well, which should present a good opportunity uh, for us to score well and perform well. Um, 
Yeah, that, that's all I'll say about the bridges. <laughs> right. I, could, I could go on. So. Yeah. Well, listen, Jake, uh, Danny, we want to just thank you uh, for taking your time out this afternoon um, talking Gettysburg men's golf. Uh, Bullets continue their spring season this Saturday uh, and Sunday when they compete at the two-day McDaniel Invitational uh, just down the road at the Bridges Golf Club in Abbottstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, the team will also compete a little further down the road at the Centennial Conference Championship April 28th through the 30th back at the Bridges. So we want to thank you once again, folks, for uh, following along here on Facebook Live. Have a good afternoon and go Bullets.